Hi everybody, welcome back to Bearded Reef. My name's Ross and in this video it's part three of the Little Pico Tank build. Okay, hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ross, and this is Bearded Reef. Now, in this, this is part three of the Little Pico build, we're gonna take a look at a few things. So first things first, we'll carry on from last week. We'll see if the tank's held water for a start. We're gonna fit the bracket for the light that's gonna be in the tank, and I'm gonna show you the light and so on, what's gonna go in. We might then get round to putting some sand in the tank and maybe even talk about the rock. So yeah, let's take a look at that. Um, Got a little clip here first that I'm going to put in of me doing the water test to see if it leaks. Now, this was straight after I built the tank. I waited 24 hours, let everything cure properly, and then we went for it and tested it. So I'll put this little clip in here to show you guys what happened then. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. Time to find out if it's going to leak or not. Um, you can see how confident I am. I'm doing it on the draining board at the sink. That's how much I think it's going to leak, but we'll try it and see. So, I'm just going to fill this with tap water for this test here. Um, I'll add something to this first. Now, this has been 24 hours since I actually built the tank, so we shall try it and see. Not expecting miracles here, folks, but here goes. Okay, so that's the first bit in. Rear chamber still dry, that's a good sign. We don't see anything around here so far. We might have got away with this. Let's fill another jug and see. for another one. Yeah, so it's up at the overflow now. There's spilled water everywhere there, so it's not going to help me find out if it leaks or not, but Let's try and see. Okay, so that's pretty much the level that I want everything to be at and I think it's okay. I'm gonna leave that for a good while actually. Make sure it's all right. Some water that I spilled there, that's all that is. There's not actually a joint there. Yeah, leave it for a bit and we'll see. Fingers crossed. Okay, so as you'll see there, um, Looked all right, seemed to go okay. So we'll jump forward now, um, another 24 hours. Now, again, I must apologize for this. I had filmed this the wrong way around. So I filmed this as I would film it for Instagram, not for YouTube um, and kind of too late at that point. So just a short clip to show you what happened after the 24 hour period. Now, 
Okay, again, apologies for the way they filmed that, but that is after leak test. So everything went really well, no leaks whatsoever, really, really happy with it. Um, still can't quite believe actually that it managed to do that with no leaks whatsoever, but I think it's beginner's luck more than anything else. So yeah, great success with that. Um, tank managed to hold water, everything was really good. So I guess the next step from that was moving on to take all the plastic off again. So just a little clip in here, I'll put in here of that. Okay, so let's get this white paper off here. Now this is just a kind of vinyl sticker that covers this. The only reason I'm showing this is a lot of people had said to me, why is the tank white? Are you leaving it that way? Blah, blah, blah. No, it's just a protective film that's on the tank. Um, it stops the glue going everywhere. Acrylic scratched really, really easily, so you want to leave this on as long as possible. Um, you'll notice I've left it on the bottom. I'm going to leave it on the bottom, um, but I want to take all the sides off here. So this is the first time, really, all the sides off, and you're getting a proper view at the tank now of how it should look, really, to be honest with you. Um, and yeah, I think it looks really good. Okay, so this is the tank with the lids on now. Um, something a bit different, I think, just seeing it this way. I really, really like the detail that's been put in this. You know, the fact that they've got bearded dot reef on there for my Instagram account and the little Pico Tank logo. I just think it sets the tank off really nicely. Both the lids, great. Hopefully it'll cut down the condensation, so I'm not gonna have to top up just as often. Um, don't actually know how often I'm going to have to top up, but we'll try it and see anyway. So, yeah, this is the kind of finished article. Still got to add one more thing, but we'll get to that in a second anyway. So, yeah. Okay, so that's all the plastic removed from the tank. Looks a lot better. Now, I have left the plastic on the bottom of the tank, as you'll see here. Um, that's just for me that I think it's going to look better with a white bottom on it. I know there's going to be sand there, but it's just going to stop that kind of clear look to the bottom of it. You don't have to do that. You can take it off. I might end up taking it off if it gets scratched or whatever, but just now I'm going to leave that white layer on the bottom. It is designed to be clear on the bottom, but no, I'm just going to be different. So yeah, um, moving on from that, now we need to kind of talk about the light, I suppose. Now, you notice I put a little bracket on here, I'll show you a clip in a minute of how I've done that. But the light I've chose for the tank. Now, I was talking about using one of the lights that I already had. Um, I don't really think that was suitable, to be honest. It was too big, too cumbersome, too heavy, just it wasn't really suitable for this little tank. So what I've done, I've done a bit of research and went ahead and got this. Now this is the TMC Illuminaire Nano Plus, um, it's the multi-spectrum one, so it's got the blue, the white, and the combined blue and white, so again it's from TMC, um, they're not that expensive, you can get them a couple of different places, but if you have a look online you'll see them, um, hopefully you can get one local, but this is the kind of best thing that I've found for this little tank, so I'll just quickly show you, I've got it out here, now this, same as the pump, is USB powered, so everything on this tank is USB powered, it makes things a bit easier. But this is a little light here. Now, as you can see, it's tiny. Now it does have a little clamp there um, for clamping it on. Good little heat sink there and so on. Um, and you can see the LEDs there. So yeah, not a bad um, little light to be fair. Quite impressed with that. So that's what I'm gonna go for. Now, obviously it's got a little clip there. So you have to try and figure out a way of mounting it. Now I could have removed the, the lid from the rear chamber kind of defeats the purpose of having that. I want the lid in the rear chamber and I want the lid in the front. So I decided to make a little bracket for that. Um, now I think in the revised kits, these are gonna come with the bracket for you to fit. This is obviously one of the very first kits here. So I made up my own little bracket for it and I'll show you now how I went about fitting that. Okay, so in this part here, we're gonna fit this um, light bracket. So all I've done is put some masking tape over here and um, mark the center of the line. So I know where exactly the center of the tank is. Then all I'm going to do is measure the width of this little piece that I've got here to put on the back. Um, yours will be different, so I'm not going to give you the measurements because I don't quite know what size is going to come with the kit. This was just a test piece that I used, but the kits are going to come with this now anyway. So if you mark the halfway point, then mark the width of the kit. Um, the width of the piece, sorry, not the kit. Lay it on, measure everything out, make sure you've got it at the right height. Um, this took quite a bit for me to actually get to the right height and so on, just so that you know, you don't want to sit down hard on the top. If you sit down hard on the top, you'll be able to get the lid off. So just make sure you've measured everything, measure three or four times, and then that's you fine. Now, you see the amount of glue that I put on here. Um, you'll see in a minute, you probably could put a slight little bit more than that on there. I certainly wouldn't go any less than that, but I had enough glue left over anyway. So I've put that on there, um, lined it all up, sit it in the middle, square it up with your test piece, just using the sides there. So once it's all squared up, that's literally you. All you need to do is just put a bit of weight on it, sit one of the cans on it, hold it straight, and that's it, good to go. Job done. 
Okay, so here's it finished. Um, this has been, I think, probably six or seven hours since I put this on, actually. So you can see there where the glue is. So you can see a slight little amount more you could put in there, but I don't think it's the end of the world. You're never going to notice that. It's not that bad, really. But yeah, it shows you just how simple that is. So that's stuck on there. Then you can take the light, sit the light on there, and there's a little thumb screw to attach it in. So I'll show you that just now anyway, but... Um, yeah, just sit it on like this. This is the TMC light, but... You can use any light you want, but that one sits on there quite nicely. Seems to be kind of perfect size for that and keeps it neat and tidy. I think anyway. Okay, so that's the bracket fitted. As you'll see, light goes on there now. I've got the light here, so I'll just show you quickly. That is the light on the tank. Um, if I can bring it a bit closer to show you. So there you go. As you can see, the tank's still a bit dirty from when I've done the water test, but that is the light on there, um, and yeah, I think it looks really good to be fair. So that's where we're at, um, water test done, lights on, everything looks good to be fair. So next step, um, we're going to put some sand in here and we're going to put some rock in here as well for the aquascape. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so like I said there, next step is going to be for the sand to go inside. So. All I'm just going to do is just lift that off there. Now that has got a little thumb screw you can take it on with, but I haven't done that yet. So I'm just going to set that out of the way. Um, I'll leave that rear chamber on, but I need to take this lid off here. So, don't quite know how much sand I'm going to need for this, but I do have a heck of a lot of sand left over here from the last tank I set up. So, I'm going to use quite a big standard measuring container of a shot glass. Don't see why not, so I'm going to try it and see anyway. Um, and see how much sand this takes. So, international standard of shot glass. So, there's one scoop. Two scoops. Three. Now I'm just gonna flatten this out a bit and see how it looks, because I think that might actually be enough, to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need much more than that. So there you go, the international measurement of um, three shot glasses worth of sand. Just try and spread that out a bit evenly. Um, I'll move all that to suit afterwards, but yeah. Three shot glasses should be enough. Now, the rock work on this, you might be a bit disappointed by this. I was going to do something a bit special. But when I was over at Nessie's Lair, um, they actually had what I would describe as the perfect bit of rock, I think, for this. It's not massive, but it was a bit that was really nice. So, the bit that they had is this bit here. Now, as you'll see, a couple of kind of flat edges, nice little cave in there. So, I thought with that sitting, you know, kind of that way, you've got space to put corals along here, space down the flat side little cave for things to hide in. So I think this is what I'm going to go with. I might change my mind. Um, you guys let me know what you think of this. But basically what I'm going to do, you need to be careful not to scratch this when you're putting this in because the acrylic can scratch quite easily. But I think that there is going to be all I go for. Now again, quite a simple look to it. It's not massive. Try to get the reflection away from there, but I want to leave as much water volume in there as I can while still giving something for the corals to go to. So that's what I'm going to go with just now. I might change my mind on that, but that's really what it's going to be just now. Um, really, the next step is to get some water and so on filled up in there. But I think that's probably going to do for this video just now. Next video, we'll get some water in, we'll get things set up and cycling and see where we go. So, yeah, um, that's really it, I think. <coughs> Okay folks, so that's it really for this video. Um, just wanted to keep a kind of short, short sweet one, show you that the water test went well, sand's in there, rock's in there and so on. Um, I'm gonna go away, I'll get some water mixed up, I'll get everything ready to go. We'll get some water in here, get it cycling and see where we go. Now I haven't quite decided where I'm gonna sit this tank yet, that's why I've not done this now. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna decide where the tank's gonna go. We'll get it in place, get some water in it and we'll get things cycling. So yeah, again, just a quick update on this little tank to show you after it's been water tested and so on. 
So thanks very much for watching. Thank you to P-Tank again for this. If you are looking for a little Pico tank, check out the website. I'll put all the details on the screen here just now so you can see. Um, they'll also be in the description. So if you're interested in your own little tank, go and have a look there. You can pick up these kits online. I think they're maybe pre-ordered just now. I'm not sure if they're ready or not. Um, check the website anyway. You'll get them on there. Really, really cheap. Really great tanks. Fantastic. Um, I'll also link descriptions to the light and so on to go on there and let you guys see that. And we're just dropping a quick clip here actually with the light on and the water and let you see what that looks like. Really, really nice. Let you see that anyway. So yeah, we'll finish off with that little clip in a second, but thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Um, let me know if you have got one of these tanks, if you're thinking about doing it, and hopefully you guys are staying safe out there. So take care, folks. Don't forget, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any videos in this series, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thanks very much, folks. Stay safe out there. Take care. Bye-bye.